Hey, I got Danny Augusta from Steel Rubber Products in the shop with me today. How you doing, Danny? Doing good, Dennis. Well, uh, you know, when you're here, we're always talking something to keep the good stuff in the car and the bad stuff out of the car. Now, you guys make it for a lot of different cars, and you make specific applications. This is one of these specific app things here, right? Yeah, that's our run channel and belt line kit or window felt kit for late G-Series vans. Okay. So you're talking like 88 to 95. And there's still a lot of those running around. There's absolutely a lot of those running around. Used in, for utility, they're used for a party van. Uh, they're almost I mean, used up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this must be an eight foot long piece of rubber here. This, what is this? So this is our run channel. That is a direct fit replacement for the run channel where the door glass rides in. Uh, oh, the okay. fuzzy stuff that people like to say. Right. Uh, it's got a molded corner. That would be this. Yep, that's the back corner, so uh -huh. you, it just pops right into that back corner. And, and then the rest of it drapes on, down, and around. And that's you're right, right. I just I, when I picked it up, I felt that it's, it is fuzzy. That's the inside fuzzy stuff. Yeah, that's what helps the glass slide right through. Right. And then what are these? So these are the belt lines, call them window felts, cat whiskers. This is the horizontal part that sandwiches the glass. Right. Right where you rest your arm when sure, the window's sure. down. They've got the pre-installed clips. It just pops right into the pre-existing holes on the car. Uh, it's got the factory bends, so it lines up with the shape of the sheet metal on the door. Now these guys, I mean, I recognize this as a run channel, but I sure can't tell you what it's for. This is the type of run channel that's used uh, from the late 30s all the way up into the late 50s. This one in particular is for GM. To bend this, there's a few tricks of the trade, so to speak. Uh, and one of those is, you know, just Cutting out template, you know, if you want to use your glass, that's fine. Whenever your trim has this stainless bead, as you bend it, that stainless bead is designed to roll off. So as you oh, go yeah. to bend, I mean, it's growing. Yeah. that radius on the inside becomes shorter than the radius on the outside. As long as that stainless bead is sliding off the end, it's not going to kink up. You can also cut and just have them, you know, at a 90 degree, a lot of early 30s have that style where right. it's real boxy. So how about this stuff? This is the belt liner run channel used on Tri-5s and the same thing, it has a stainless bead. Different from this one, whenever you want to bend this, you want to bend it kind of against the metal and in, in a way that it doesn't really want to bend. Right, so how do you do that? So what we've made is a, a little jig, so to speak. Uh, you, we've made ours out of metal because it's fancy, but you can do it out <laughs> of wood. Essentially, you're just gonna go and bend it a little bit at a time. Right, and just work your curve in. Yep, and the same thing, that stainless bead's gonna start to slide off the end here. Yep, and you're just gonna bend it, fit it, bend it, fit it. Absolutely, it's, it's a bend fit kind of scenario. What if I've got a bend that's, that's you know, kind of more than my little doodah's gonna handle? So that's when we break out the big tools. Oh, the big guns. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. <laughs> you, came, so you came prepared, yes. This is a shrinker and a stretcher. Essentially what it does is it's going to grab the metal and stretch it a little bit. So whenever you have a belt line that's thicker, you know, this way, uh -huh. uh, and it's a solid piece of metal, it, you, you can't bend it just right. with your hands or anything. And what it does is it bites it and it bends it and just a little at a time, it's the same so thing. Start, yeah, it's gonna starting be, to come my way now, I see. Eventually you can get a curve out of there and that's how you're gonna have to bend the, Some of these the bigger, wide stuff. Beefier. And, that, and that's gonna be from your 60s on up into the 80s and 90s. But it can all be done. It can all be done. You know, these tools are nice to have in other regards if you're doing any kind of sheet metal shaping, um, but that's, that's the how-to of how to bend these. And you've got YouTube videos that show you all this stuff. Yeah, we go into detail about, you know, how to get the bends right where you need them on our YouTube channels and on our website. Wow, it's, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> well, hey, if you want to learn anything more about any of these steel rubber product parts or how you make them fit your car, log on to steelrubber.com. I like this thing, man. <laughs>